Matthew at Cuddy Spot sent in some cues. Uh, number one, hi. Who the fuck is you? I'm Chuck Young, managing editor at the New York Press. Uh, Manchild, husband, dad, etc. You seem like a filthy liar. What? Uh, I'll change this to ask: How did you get involved with the New York Press? I had a back and forth with Josh while submitting for the second print issue and then saw that he was looking for an editor a little while later. Sent in a found resume that I found on the internet. Uh, Josh believed me to be the reincarnate of a middle school friend that he lost to time, so he showered me with, you know, misguided trust and affection. The New York print issues have been simultaneously experimental and excessively packaged. What are your thoughts on experimentalism slash accessibility? I think we're looking for the weird and experimental but are still very much grounded in story and resonance. I was birthed as an artist upon the realization that I value being moved. So I'm still looking to be moved no matter how abstractly. I like things that I feel viscerally first but also you know, can cerebrally recognize as a fucked and clever way to use form. I, I hate your fucking guts. Do you write yourself? I write myself into everything I write. It's a habit I'm trying to break, as I'd rather my writing be about you where I'm merely a footnote. Cool answer, bro. How would you describe your relationship to the internet? When you factor in the internet, literature becomes a performance piece, so I'm now into performance art. But I guess it, it's got me back into a rhythm of generating new content consistently and being inspired to do so. It has also given me back a sense of context and community. What is the first album you remember buying? I used to buy cassette singles a lot. Uh, Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You stands out, as does Boys to Men's In the Still of the Night. But I do remember buying Dr. Dre's The Chronic when I was in the sixth grade. You know, that was the first one that I bought with my own money on my own. Um, you know, I, I popped it in on the mini ra a minivan ride back home with my mom. And, you know, the first, the first seconds are, you know, a jail cell clink and welcome to death row, motherfucker. So. You know, I remember her face getting pretty red. Who is your favorite rapper and why? The Chronic Era Dre, I guess, or Q-Tip. Silly answer would be Canadian reggae musician Snow. Uh, Self-serving answer would be a fictional rapper I created that I named Ja Definitely Feel. Uh, look out for his debut album in 2013. I don't want to be rich and famous. I just want to be out of debt and happy. Oh, nicely done. What's your worldview in one sentence? We're here to express ourselves in a myriad of different ways to move and be moved in order to feel in better and smarter ways and pass those ways to our kids. Uh, I think until everyone is cool as fuck and you know everything's less sad. You. You're a real fucking shit monkey, you know that? But god damn it, God bless you. Alright. Thanks, Cuddy Spot. Out.